What if one day you didn't have to go to the polls on election day or even mm. send a ballot through the mail? Mm, today on Live at Four, how one community is using an app to build trust and transparency. And finally at noon, most of the world is covered in water, so it stands to reason every now and then something amazing is going to make its way to the surface. Mm, Jeremy Roth has three amazing finds in today's Take a Look at This. Take a look at this trove of entrancing treasures taken from the tides. First up, this is a trash barrel owned by the city of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But this isn't Myrtle Beach, it's the western coast of Ireland. Myrtle Beach officials received a message on social media saying the barrel had been found washed ashore on the coast of Mulroney. That's a 3,500 mile trip across the Atlantic Ocean. Officials responded, speculating that the barrel likely made the wayward journey courtesy of a wind or storm event. They asked their new Irish friends to recycle the barrel and thank them for sharing its seafaring adventure. On a personal note, I'm kind of upset a trash can got to see Ireland before I did. In Wisconsin, a discovered sunken artifact is fascinating archaeologists not because of how far it traveled, but for how long. Experts say this ancient canoe pulled from 30 feet of water in Lake Mendota is roughly 1,200 years old, which means it was used around 800 AD, likely for fishing. It's currently being preserved and could help shed light on how locals lived and traveled in the area generations ago. Finally, a Maine lobsterman is hoping to preserve this ultra-rare blue lobster recently caught off Portland in the waters of Casco Bay. How rare, you ask? About one in 100 million rare. Bill Coppersmith nicknamed his cotton candy colored crustaceous catch Hattie after his granddaughter and is in talks with experts in aquariums to find it an adoptive home. We're not gonna sell it. We're not gonna cook it. This is a beautiful lobster and we wanna preserve it. Or take a look at this. I'm Jeremy Roth. But he must taste like cotton candy, Max. You think so? Oh, well, you're not gonna God. find out. That Thank guy's guarding him. <laughs> that place is next.